Hi guys, check out this awesome creek behind me here. I've actually fished this once before. It was about two years ago. I fished it for about an hour. Haven't fished it since. I do remember that I caught rainbow trout. And I'm going to be fishing this rod. This is the Tanuki Pocket Ninja. It's a little pocket rod that can be fished at 11 feet long. I think it'll be a perfect fit for this stream that's, that has these kind of isolated pools like you can see here. I don't need a super long rod to fish this, so I think this will work. I've fished this rod once before, but it was a pretty small stream. It was actually too, a little bit too long for that stream, so I'm excited to fish it on something that's a little bit more open. I mentioned that I have fished this stream before, but I've never fished this section. I fished downstream last time. Okay, let's position ourselves on the rock here. Make our first couple of casts. I'm fishing this rod with an 11 foot line. Oh, that was a fish. That was a bite. And I'll put a picture of the fly that I'm using. It's, uh, I believe the, the yarn color for the body is paprika. And it has like a fluorescent green head and a ginger brown body. I mean hackle. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing on trying to catch a fish over here. And of course you can buy that paprika yarn at flytyingyarn.com if you didn't know. Fish on! Oh, I think that was the same one. It was in the same place. Oh gosh. I've had a few different hits here now. Haven't been able to connect on any of them. Fish on! Finally over there. Not a big fish. It's a rainbow trout. Nice! Beautiful little rainbow. See you, buddy. Fish on! Ooh! Where'd he go? He's behind me now. Another rainbow trout. This one's a little bit bigger. About eight inches. See you, buddy. Isn't this a beautiful stream? Tenkar really shines on water like this. Like this is, this is the stuff Tenkar was made for. We've just got boulders on top of boulders on top of boulders on more boulders. Yeah, this is a nice rod. I, I do like this rod. Fish on. And off. And it is cool that it packs down to be so small. Like, I don't need a pocket rod. But it's just neat that an effective fishing rod can pack down to be so small. Fishing right in front of that big boulder now. There we go. Oh, I've been, a sl I've been slow on a few of these takes. I think I'm missing s several fish because I'm just not setting the hook fast enough. Got to get my head in the game. If you've never fished with a Tinkara rod that doesn't have a, a cork or foam grip on it, that might be a question for you, or a question that you have. You know, how does it feel? Is it is it annoying? Does it feel nice? Like, what, what's it like to fish with a rod that has no discernible grip section? I mean, this one is, the, the texture is a little bit different here. It's like a matte finish here, whereas this part is a glossy finish. But you know what I mean, there's no cork or foam grip. Not a big deal at all, in my experience. Doesn't bother me one bit. I have several rods that don't have foam or cork or any kind of, you know, wooden grip. 
not a problem. Another thing you have to think about when you're fishing water like this is how much time do I dedicate to each pool, to each big pocket? I mean, I could spend 15 minutes going through every inch of this pool here and the one next to it over there. Or I could just put, you know, two drifts through each one and then move on to the next one. That's kind of the approach I'm taking today. I'm just covering ground. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, and it pays off. Got him. Had to launch him over the rocks there. It is another rainbow trout. How nice. Beautiful fish. Sweet. Oh, wow. That was instant. I'm not sure if I'll be able to land this one here. It's a nice sized rainbow trout. Got him. It's about a 12 incher. See ya, buddy. Fish on. All these rocks mean, all these rocks also mean that the fish has more places to hide. Getting the fish from where you hook him to you means navigating around these rocks a lot of the time. It is another rainbow trout. See you, buddy. Fish on. Not too far in front of me here. Eventually got him in the net. Okay. Oh, see ya, buddy. Oh, that was instant. I was getting my, um, my fingers <laughs> resituated around the rod. That was the first cast after catching that last fish. Got him. Oh, darn it. Got one. Get out of the rocks. There we go. That is a fat fish. It's a little football. Look at that guy. He's a little chunker. Fish on. Got him. Another, whoop, another little football. Fish on. And he's freaking out. He's going all over the place. Whoa. And there he is. See you, buddy. Oh, that fish just wrapped the line around that branch sticking out there. As soon as I hooked into a fish, I thought, oh no, because it was right by that branch. Sure enough, he went like under it and then over it and then spout the hook. The end. Push on. It spooked a couple other fish in the same, same place. Oh, come on, there we go. 
Ooh, he spat the hook or he came off the hook as soon as he went into the net. Another fat rainbow trout. Push on, and he's off like a missile. There we go. I think this is the biggest one yet. Yeah, it's like a 12 or 13 incher. Nice. See you, buddy. Oh, fish on. There we go. Oh, hang on. We've been catching a bunch of rainbow trout, but this is not a rainbow trout. This is a brook trout. Look at this guy. Well, see ya, buddy. Okay, guys, I think the plan is to catch one more, then we'll get out of here. Save the rest of the stream for another day. Fish on. In this emerald green pool here. It's a big fish, guys. It's a big brook trout. Yes! I think that's probably my biggest brook trout of the year. Or at least one of them. Nice. Great fish to end on. It's an 11 inch brook trout. See ya, buddy. Well, that was awesome. I fished for an hour and 20 minutes and ended up catching a dozen fish. The first 10 were rainbow trout, last two were brook trout. That was an awesome fish to end on, that big brook trout. Really enjoyed fishing with this rod too. Again, it's not a a mind-blowing rod, as I like to say, but it's a really good rod. It's a solid rod. I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you fished with this rod. What have your experiences with this rod been? Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you wanna check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.